mercy. Tell me what you told me before we started. <laughs> What's that? Tell me what you told me before we started. I don't remember. What? You don't know how old you are? Until you look, until you look <laughs> until, up. Until you look at a picture and oh. you see how ugly you are. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> hey, happy birthday, America. It's the 4th of July. It's the two old farts coming at you live. I'm Chuck. And I'm Lou. I'm the better looking of the old two old farts. Yes, it is. We already had that contest. And I won two to one contest. It. He's yeah. full of crap, America. So I want to apologize. It's been a long time, probably almost two months since we did this, isn't it? Yeah. It's called technology problems with the old fart. Yes. And once he came over here and I looked at his laptop, I don't know what it was, but we got it working. So we'll see. I just won't touch it except the on and off button. You said that the last time, and that's why we weren't able to do it. We've tried at least at least twice to, to do this and to no avail. But also in that time, um, I lost my father-in-law. Yes, he said he he went he went kind of quick. Um, he's been on a roller coaster these last two years. So uh, keep my wife and her family in your prayers if if you do that. Um, again, it was very sudden, but nah, they knew it was coming. So. And, and one other, if you don't mind, you know, our DAV folks would do a lot with the neighborhood Walmart store out of uh, Shanefield in 1560. Marty, the operations manager, just lost her mother uh, in that quote asked. Oh, okay. So keep her in your prayers. Uh, she's a really nice lady that does a lot to help our DAV folks and, and a lot of people. In fact, we just did a charity thing yesterday supporting them, Children's Miracle Network here in San Antonio. Okay. That's, that's a Walmart uh, fundraiser, and uh, her goal for her her year is twenty thousand. But uh, me and three or four or five of the comrades yesterday, we actually helped with uh, we raised eight hundred forty five dollars in donations just us along uh, with the volunteer fire department there. They did some and the, the raffles and all that kind of stuff. So keep my day in your prayers as well. Okay. So again, it's the 4th of July. It's been about two months. What have we done in that time? Let me look at my calendar here real quick. Um, this Friday, what do we got going on Friday? I said Junior Brown at, uh, at Green Hall. At Green Hall. Yeah, great place to go. It's a lot of fun and a lot of history there. Uh, the oldest dance hall in Texas. In Texas. And then... Uh, we got Johnny Mathis coming up a little bit later in this month. That's right. Yeah. And then, uh, so, did we do anything in May? I don't. We did. We did John Michael Montgomery. Yeah, I think that's the last one we did. And it got rained out. And that was right. probably like the last um, thing we did. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll get back on the trail here pretty quick. Yep. Yeah, Mackenzie was home at that point. Um, I tried to get my driver's license uh, a week ago. Yeah, tell me about that. How'd that go? Didn't go so good. <laughs> I, I, after having a driver's license since 1982, they finally wanted to see my birth certificate, which I don't know why. I'm a veteran. I'm a retired warrant officer, and I have a security clearance, which means not once, not twice, but three different times I've had to prove my citizenship. One, to be in the military. Two, to be an officer, you have to be a U.S. citizen. And three, to have a security clearance if you need it. Yeah. But, hey, the state of Texas, they want a birth certificate, so by God, they're going to get one on the 15th of July. You know, it's a sad place the way this world's going. People just don't believe anything. I, but they got their, as Brenda would say, they got their rules to follow, so we got to play by the rules. Yeah, I, I traded uh, my truck for a new car, and you get the motor discount, they couldn't accept my motor ID card. I had to take him a 214. Yeah, and I understand that, you know, when, when they explain things to you, this people just trying to take advantage of the system. People take advantage of the system, and they fabricate whatever to, but the hardworking folks are the ones who uh, really pay the price. Yeah, they did, and uh, this holiday was brought to you by people who had guns. <laughs> think about it. That's just the way it is. Yep. Uh, Regardless of what you think.
nothing wrong with guns, it's the bad guys who want to use the guns. That's true. So, uh, our little podcast is up to 194 all-time all downloads. Right. That's not too bad. It's no. not as good as I thought we would be at. But then again, I figured we'd have two or three more episodes in the can. Exactly. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. But the good news is, let me go here to the... the I couldn't say crap if I had a mouthful of it. <laughs> Statistics. Overview. All right. So... Let's go back the last three months. And the last three months, read off to the people where all of our downloads have come right. from. United States, 91, United Kingdom, 11, Canada, too, and Ireland, too. Got a little... You got a little bit of Irish love. Yeah. That That's in the last... And just in the last three months, people. So, overall, in the last... Since we started in January... It'd be nice if there's some Corbis back in Ireland listening, huh? Yep. Or Burns. So, since we started, go ahead and tell All the people. Right. United States, 142. United Kingdom, 17. Canada, 3. Ireland, 2. And Italy, 2. How about that? Keep going. Italy. Italy. Netherlands, we got uh, two. And we got one from Australia and uh, one from Russia. Yeah, we don't count those comic bastards. Yeah, we are. So yeah, we are we're getting international. We just need some some Pacific love, maybe some Korea or Japan or yeah. Philippines, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia. Somebody give us some Thailand. love. Thailand, give us some love out there from yeah. the. Hey, even Australia would be okay. Yeah, we can move down yonder. Down yeah. Under. So yeah, we. We've got a little bit of representation in Europe. We need some African love, and we need some um, Asian love. Yep. That's kind of surprising, too, in Italy. Huh? Yep. I don't, I don't have no folks in Italy that I know of. Or Italy, not Italy. Hey. There's, a, there's an A in there. Depending on where you're from. You sound like your mom now. I say, over yonder, she says, what's over yonder? Over yonder. She said, no, it's not over yonder. She might be over there, or it might be here, but it's not over yonder. But right. it could be down yonder. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> but it is Italy, not <laughs> Italy. So, to you two Italians who have done these downloads, my apologies for my dad's improper pronunciation of the English language. If it Alabama is English... It is Alabama English. <laughs> you old hick. <laughs> uh, that's what makes it fun. Man, oh man. How long have we been going at this? Only eight minutes. Seems like a lifetime. It does seem like a lifetime when you're trying to <laughs> eat up <laughs> airtime. Figure out what you're going to say, what you're going to do. Yeah. But I'll tell you, we got a lot of good things going. And just really sad today, this 4th of July got kicked off of that shooting in uh, Illinois. Six dead, the last time I heard, and like 24 injured in the hospital or being treated for injuries. It's, it's yeah, kind of it's, sad. A, it's a rough world we're living it's today. I don't understand things like that anymore. But you know, I think there's more good folks out there than there are bad folks. We just don't hear about the good folks. Yeah, hopefully it's the good folks that are listening to this podcast. And hopefully you listen for more in just a few seconds because we can be we can be funny. Yeah. Or at least we yeah, try to be. Well, we think we're funny anyway, we're right? Funny looking. <laughs> yeah, one of us is anyway. I this quick, guy. I got to quit looking at the pictures. I'll be all right. Probably. <laughs> oh, man. So, like I said, we got Junior Brown on Friday night. And then two weeks later on Thursday night, we got Johnny Mathis. Um, do we got anything in August? Uh, we got Jason Bolin and the Stragglers oh, yeah. at the end of August. Yeah, that's going to be at Florida, right? Yep. That was a rescheduled concert. Yeah. I don't think we got anything September. in September. Uh, good thing about September, we got some football that's going to start back up. So. We do, and I got a lot of concerts in September. I got, uh, Iron Maiden. They're going to be in Austin. Um... 
I don't have anything. Jason Bolin in August. Um, October, Lamb of God. I think I got Ramstein in September. Yeah, I do. I got Ramstein September 17th. You don't know who these guys are. I have no idea. But they're good. They're really good. But Junior Brown, that's going to be a good concert. I've yeah. been wanting to take you to see him for a long time. Yeah. Most of you folks don't know, but he, he's he got like two big hits. One is uh, one my wife, Patrol. Highway Patrol. The other one is My Wife Thinks You're Dead. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he plays like a lap steel guitar. Kind of a rockabilly kind of a sound. Did you say his wife's going to be with him on this? Yeah, yeah. She, it's just the two of them usually. Yeah. What? I'm just... I mean, we're hearing aids and you get all this feedback. I mean, you shouldn't have feedback. You got headphones on. I, and you got hearing aids in between. So you're going to get that whistling sound. Yeah, there you go. Just like I'm walking down the street, all them girls whistling at me. When did that happen? <laughs> when did that happen? Oh, man. But I'm going to tell you, you know, we, we talk about good folks. Yesterday, when we were at the, at the Walmart. It, it, Just keep talking. I'm going to find me some headphones and see if I can get them to work. Keep talking. It is so, it's amazing. There are so many good folks out there. They are, and we're accepting those donations for the uh, Children's Miracle Network. Just talking with people and how generous they are. And and just families in general have been, uh, been representing our DAV uh, chapter. And people thank you for your service. There's just a lot of good folks out there. We just, we just need to talk about them more. So, all those folks who donated yesterday, and we really appreciate the, the support and uh, all the things we need to make this a better place for us to live in. Yeah. So, nope, I can't hear nothing. Uh oh. I, I can hear you playing around. I'm sure you can. I just can't hear nothing. So, anyway, it, it was a it was a good day, hot day out there, but just so many nice people, uh, and especially the ones that take care of children, you uh, they don't have any help or really need to help. So, keep it up, keep doing what you do, and let's make this a better place. So, so what do you think is going to happen with with uh, Junior Brown when we go out to when we go eat at out there? There's a lot of good folks, good places out here. Whew. I don't know. Um, did you want to try to eat in green, or did you want to eat on the way to green? Because I think there's, the, I think the, the way to green is probably quicker. You don't have as much time wait. But when you eat in green, you get more authentic uh, local. You think so? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You say so. Waterburger ain't local. <laughs> you don't get much more local than Waterburger. <laughs> Corporate Chris is local. <laughs> yeah, well, it's local all over, but. Yeah. See? Can't take him anywhere. But that, that's what makes it fun. We go out there and we can laugh and joke and be stupid and have a good time. Nobody cares because nobody knows who I am. Nobody's going to tell my wife, so I'm okay. I'll tell her. Yeah. Uh, so the last episode. You remember me making fun of you like the last episode because you I can't I can't remember what it was. It but it, it had to do with you getting your laptop set up or whatever and it didn't work and I had to come over to the house and fix it. And remember, I, yeah, I blamed you. Complained to you, mom. I did because it was all you. <laughs> yeah. So then we recorded the episode and then I went and I said it was episode I think eight. Yeah, and it was only seven. But it was only seven. Yeah. So and you said, mom. He did it again. Mom, he did it again. And she, <laughs> and she was being recorded too, I believe. No, she wasn't being recorded, but uh, let me let me take a look here. Uh, episodes. I thought it was up, you said seven and it was only six. So, yep, it was eight. I thought it was okay. eight. It was only seven. seven. So this is episode eight. eight. Okay. But I'm going to call it seven, but in printing, I'm going to put, but it's really eight. eight. 
So yeah, it, the episode eight was mom, dad screwed up our podcast. <laughs> so well, you said mom did it. He did it again. But in my defense, even though I can't count or remember what number we were on, it has been his fault the last two times we've tried because again, he doesn't know how to computer very well. Well, how do you expect that? Don't teach you that in school. They do now. Okay. So I need to go back to school. <laughs> you need, need to go back to school. Speaking of which, I'm going to probably try to start going back to take some college classes in the fall. Oh, wow. What are you going to do? I'm probably going to take some air conditioning and refrigerator classes. Oh, that'd be pretty neat. They need to come fix stuff at the house. I don't know. I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> Remember, I can't count. I don't know if you want me touching your air conditioner. <laughs> Well, as long as you got a piece of duct tape, you can probably fix anything. Or if I don't get electrocuted. <laughs> but I think it'd be interesting to learn. I'm going to try to start taking some college classes again. Uh, some heating, air conditioning, maybe some carpentry or le electricity kind of thing. Definitely maybe some plumbing and some welding. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. And since the last time we talked, you also got a promotion too, right? Yes, I did. I'm now a uh, GG-14 for the United States Air Force, where I work. Of course, GG is a good guy. Good guy. Okay. It's the same as a GS. It's just a different pay grade, or a different pay system, if you will. But yeah, GS fourteen. That's, that's but, pretty. That's pretty awesome. But nobody cares that. I know you like oh, to brag true. on me, but nobody cares when you brag. I did. I went out and told everybody before you ever got it. Then I, you I, got mad at yeah, me. I know because it wasn't like official, official yet. Yes. You know, when, it ain't official till you know. You, when you Dad get, says it, it's official. Isn't that what you tell your daughter? It's official. I told you not to, so it's official. She just People, I don't care how old you get, your parents will still embarrass you no matter how old you get. Because you'll go somewhere and you're like, oh, yeah, so my son, he this and he that. And they're just smiling and nodding. And I'm like, yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they they're do. just they're being nice <laughs> to you. They don't care. That's they're just trying to live their, they're they're just trying to live their life. Were you nice to your grandma and grandpa? Well, yeah, they like me. Grandpa nanny? They did. Yeah. So why were you nice to them? They, they don't care. Well, they loved me. They're family. They actually, they're supposed to love me. They did. You got away with everything. I did. Because I was the first and the best. Yeah. That's right. Sherry, Christy, Rebecca, if y'all are listening, I was the best. <laughs> I was the favorite. Uh, How many more days till college football, Dad? Not, not that many, but too many. Well, we're gonna have some good games this year, right from the get go. We're gonna have a uh, and M. What the second game of the season? With you mean UT? Oh, that's right, UT. A and M's with it later on, but yeah. UT. And what about them signing that new quarterback? Uh, what's his name? Arch Manning. Arch, oh, that, yeah. that, I think that was a. I think that was really good for UT. I really do. I, I, do, I, I think do Sarkeesian too. is the right fit for him. I think with with Bryce Young and whoever we got backing him up. Uh, was it Jalen Milrose? Jalen Milrose, and then uh, they got Ty Simpson backing him up. So right? who's a, I think he was a five star coming out. Of, I think I'm gonna say California. I'm not sure yet, but uh, and we just signed some, uh, some fours and fives, and so it was a pretty good recruiting class. And, and speaking of college football, isn't it getting a little crazy right now with all the, the uh, super mega conferences and? USC, UCLA going to the Big Ten. Now they're talking Florida State and North Carolina and somebody else going to uh, to the SEC. I didn't hear that. I yeah, know. that was like the next day. I know the Texas and Oklahoma going. And, uh, yeah, but that was like, that's old news. Yeah. They, if any college comes back to the SEC, it's got to be Georgia Tech. Yeah. They're an original OG SEC school. Matter of fact, it's oh, an yeah. Alabama fight song. I'll send the, the, the Yellow Jackets to a watery grave. I, back in the day, we used to watch Georgia Tech and Georgia play there in Columbus. and uh, Weren't they pretty trashy throwing trash at um, Bear Ryan back in the 60s? Oh, yeah. Or was and it the 70s? Uh, back in the 70s, and you had uh, Darwin Holt, that little deal with Darwin Holt, and, uh, and uh, coach at Georgia Tech and all those kind of things. But, you know, they, they made up towards the end there, I think, and... But that's, that's where it goes. Well, they ain't in the SEC no more. No. You know what? And I, I don't, they have they really haven't been the top dogs like they used to. Back in the day, they were a top dog. Uh, but Georgia's taking a little bit, I think, with the SEC. You got all that power around, so. 
I just I just think with what's going on with college football right now, I think it, it's losing its cachet. I think there's too much money running around in the sport. Uh, so, I agree. I, I you know, these players, we should be making sure they uh, their schools taken care of, and there should be stipends for all of the athletes, not just a few. And it should be distributed across the board, in my opinion. But to make sure all the athletes get the get a share. Because uh, they all did have some education, and it, you know, they all bring us entertainment. I'm gonna tell you this summer, I, I, Oklahoma. I watched them in the girls' softball. All right, take everything. Then I watched uh, Mississippi State. I mean, Ole Miss win the uh, men's college uh, baseball World series. Oh yeah, That's some good games. Uh, and the Stallions last night beat Philadelphia for the USFL USFL championship. If poor old San Antonio, we can't get nothing. Can't get nothing. We had a good team. Yeah, the uh, San Antonio Commanders. Yeah. We were packed in, what, 30, 40,000 yeah. people a game, yeah. and the whole league full. Was, we were getting more people to our game, to one know. game, than all the other ones combined. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's how starved for football this town is. I, I saw something that, uh, yesterday. I didn't get a chance to read it. Uh, talk about some, uh, a new ballpark for yeah, it's another minor league ballpark. I don't want minor league. I want major league. Yeah, I want to get. Some. We need That's a major league team here in town besides the Spurs. Yep, but you know what? A long time ago, you and I were talking on a trip in between Austin and San Antonio, somewhere out on that uh, that freeway out there, in between where the racetrack is and stuff like that. Somebody oh, on the toll road. On the toll road, somebody really developed that area. And, and made like a big mega megaplex type situation where you could have baseball, football, baseball, you could have it all. You got and you got soccer, soccer. You got the uh, big racetrack out there. You put a rail system in that would connect uh, San Antonio, Austin, Austin, New Braunfels, San, San Marcos, uh, Houston, Dallas. And you could, yeah, you got some rail in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm tell you, I'm I'm looking forward to the A and M this year too. I think. We got to get some redemption. Uh, they gonna they gonna surprise a lot of folks this year. I'm not surprised. Uh, I, think so. I think they blew their wall last year. They are they gonna be up there? All right. Yeah. UT's gonna be the team to watch. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, if you keep selling UT like ESPN keeps hyping up Notre Dame. You know, <laughs> I, I ain't buying. You can sell it, but I ain't buying. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be selling Notre Dame. But anyway. So right. any any good places to go out and eat? You want to go try or? I don't know. What was that place we went to, uh, you and I and Brenda and uh, your mom? Uh, Before we went and saw a show at the Tobin? Yeah. It was Guillermo's. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. We we need to go back there again. Yeah, we'll, we'll try out Guillermo's when we go to Johnny Mathis. But I'm saying here in town, like, you know what? We should go check out some breweries on a Saturday yeah. here and there. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done that. Yep, yeah, there's a good local brewery here, Long Tab. Um. I think they're off of Bandera Road. Inside the loop, we can go check out. Um, maybe we can go check out Busted Sandal Brewery. Um, That'd be pretty nice. There's two places, one of these days we go out and do a little travel. We need to go up to Shana. I'd like to see that Shana Brewery. Yeah, but I want to wait till it gets a little cooler. It's yeah. triple digits right now. And we need to go to Black's one day up uh, going towards San Marcos up that uh, just what, New Braunfels in that area of Blacks? Yeah, we're going to check out Blacks. Yeah. We haven't That's done any good barbecue in a while. It's good. They have some good stuff. And, uh, but anyway. <laughs> well, we've done rambled on for almost 24 minutes. Oh, it's not too bad, then. For not prepared, just trying to wing it. Of course, you know, we started talking about Alabama yeah. college football, which... Yeah, you know, we're, we're trying not to do. We're trying to make this a local show because we're the two old farts out and about. We're out and about here in San in the to San Antonio area, New Braunfels, San Marcos, but not so much. Yeah, you know, you know another place we got to get back to. We haven't been to a long time. Was a Mad Tucker for about a house. Yeah, last yeah. time was New Year's. Mm -hmm. that, that's a that's or a no, fun. it was Christmas. That was a fun venue. Well, uh, why don't you and Mom get out and go eat there? It's right down the street from you. Come on now. Get your mom to go some places like pulling eye teeth. Now she listen to you. If you ask, she'll probably go. I don't know about that. Yeah. Maybe if Brenda asks, she might go. Yeah. 
we're blessed. You have a great wife. Your mom loves her, so she's okay. I must have done something right. <laughs> you did something right. <laughs> but uh, we're blessed. We have a, have a great family. And, uh, sad for your sister. She Her trip got canceled the other day. Oh, the, her trip to France? To, to Paris and to uh, London, yeah. Uh, flight cancellation. Uh, well, she waited at the airport almost 24 hours, or 12 hours, rather. All those canceled flights. All those canceled flights. Well, we're going to get you on that. We're going to get you on this. And I mean, they're really working hard. I said, like, 21 in that in that group, and she was going to chaperone um, three students. Two of them were sisters, 12 and 15, and I don't know the other one, but uh, that, that was a good, good trip for her. So, but it got canceled. And, Along with all those what other two thousand flights <laughs> exactly <laughs> over the holidays, yeah. But uh, well, we've rambled on enough, and you know, I hope you guys have a good Fourth of July, a good uh, safe holiday. Don't blow your fingers or hands up if you're popping off fireworks. And if, for those of you in England, it's Happy Treason Day because <laughs> we are the ungrateful colonials. Yeah, I saw that picture. On Facebook, this one with the Queen, that, that wasn't too cool. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're celebrating our independence from from England to almost 246 years now. I, I don't think they really care. I, I, they might have gotten over it. <laughs> I, I would hope so. But anyway. Happy Fourth of July to everyone. And thank you across the globe who have listened to us. Um, if you like us, Send us a, a comment on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, um, our email, the two old farts at outlook.com. We'd like to hear from you. Thank you all for listening to us. Please spread the word. Maybe we can double our numbers to 400, 500 downloads by the end of the year. Who knows? That'd be, that'd be pretty neat. We'll be talking again pretty soon, but. I'm sure we'll have one this weekend after we go see Junior Brown. I'm looking forward to this. Yep, we'll have to get together on yeah. Saturday or Sunday and do this again. Looking forward to going to see that, have that, that concert. So. All right, everybody. Y'all take care. Y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all.